Welcome to a lighthearted guide to ATs. First, the very basics. ATs is an eight-member group formed under KQ Entertainment. They debuted on October 24, 2018. The members are Hongjung, Songhua, Yunho, Mingi, San, Yosong, Wu Young, and Jango. ATs fans are called ATini. To quote the ATs wiki, ATini is a contraction of ATs and destiny and signifies that ATs future is together with their fans. Stuff about ATs. Their growth. Considering they're from one of the smaller labels in K-pop, their growth has been impressive. On the release day for their first album, they sold 430 copies. For the World Episode 1 movement, they surpassed 1.1 million pre-orders. They got Dat Lore Baby. Their storylines in the MVs and straight-up pages of story in the latest albums, starting with Fever Part 1. Without delving too deep, here's some basic stuff. There's time travel. There's alternate realities. Dystopia. And villains. While the concept they debuted with was, with one word, pirates, the story and concept has evolved to include more sci-fi, and supernatural elements. They usually hint at future songs at the end of their music videos, like a post-credit scene. Allegedly, they don't have a dating ban. They do, however, have a ban against playing Mafia, they get too competitive. And one against jumping in public. That last one is this guy's fault. He gets excited. 8 makes one team. This is their introduction in team chant. <laughs> but sometimes they just... <laughs> But now, some individual introductions. This is Hong Jun, the captain of ATs. It's a struggle sometimes. But the team loves and appreciates him. AT songs are produced by a team at KQ, but Hong Jung is greatly involved in the making of their songs. Fun facts. He's participated in several equality campaigns, like Happy Hippie and Polished Man. He wrote the song Thank You for Songwa, a song about being grateful for their friendship. He's the shortest. Giggle before his rap parts. This is Song Wa. He's the oldest and the mom of the group, aka the responsible one and the caretaker. He was supposed to debut as a rapper, but debuted as a vocalist instead. He's the mandatory ASMR enthusiast that every group seems to need. You think he's the mature one, but he's secretly weird.
마챙이 모습을 보여주고 싶었지만 1등 <웃음> 베이비 샤크 This man l o v e And is also part of the tall squad of the group. This man just has an energy of doing embarrassing things. But he's just so sweet. He is the smallest, biggest man. Big man with baby energy. Nicknamed Pink Princess. You'll hear Fix On before his rap parts. Sue's behavior. Skinship? No problem. <laughs> This is Yo Song. One of the more reserved and quiet ones. However, Yo Sang Young is a bit of 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 a 약간 너의 그 약간 눈빛이 조금 무서워. 약간 아, 네? 조금 무서워. 약간 아, 네? <웃음> Man knows how to throw shade slash sass. 저희 인싸만 만나볼게요. 아, 기대지 마. 그지. 아, 기대지 마. 근데 성아 형, 제발 우리 안무 중에 가만히 있는 안무 하면 혓바닥 좀안 움직이면 안 돼. 혓바닥 좀안 움직이면 안 돼. 짜증나. 동생만 해. 시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간시간
He has matching friendship tattoos with Wu Young. Amicus ad eris, a shortened version of Amicus usqui ad eris, meaning friends until the end. It has become his and Wu Young's catchphrase. Amicus ad eris, slate. This is Wu Young. He bites. No, 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 he was also a trainee under Big Hit, but left after Yo Song, stating that they will either make it or fail together. He's got one of the best laughs in the industry. <laughs> he was Studio Chum's Artist of the Month for June, 2021. He's a collector of people, including other people's parents and other idols. Lastly, this is Jung Ho. Vocalist and Magna. He's associated with apples because he's the most chill, or rather, possibly the most normal one in the group. Also never misses the chance to call someone out. He may seem cold. But Some other short fun stuff about ATs before I wrap this up. One month after debut, they performed on the street as zombies because why not? After their alter egos got properly introduced with Hala Hala, they were lovingly named Halatees. This may not have been the official name for them, but it's been so ingrained that a tease also uses that name to refer to them. This performance video was released pre-debut, and they performed it at a lot of their first concerts. Which led to this unofficial but hilarious fan chant. Half of them were in the drama imitation. That's also where this cursed song was born, and it is constantly clowned by both ATs themselves and fans. Now. It's my time. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 
Their friend and fellow KQ artist Maddox is the narrator for a few of their more story-oriented tracks. After Hong Jung introduced his brother as the choreographer for his solo mama performance, fans fell so hard for him the Hong Jung jokingly regretted introducing him in the first place. Whoever edits the vlogs at KQ needs a raise. <laughs> Because of TikTok, I can no longer hear the end of the song Utopia without immediately thinking it's going to be followed up by